little bit of early morning cleaning. I haven't cleaned my apartment in a long time. It's disgusting. Just, uh, I have a visitor today. Not, not even a visitor. I just, the, the, the guy for my internet is coming to like look at my internet because it's not up to par. So Samsung phones, when the back is broken like this and we have to replace it, it's all just glass, right? When you go in to take off the back and it's shattered like this, there's glass pieces that just shoot up at everywhere. It's a mess. Ow. So, uh, you know, safety first. Okay, another crazy busy day as usual. I'm, I'm like convinced that every day is gonna be, it's gonna be like busy. For a while. It's gonna be like this for every single day. We're in a pretty good place now. I actually need to head out a little bit early to catch the internet guy at my place. He's gonna take a look at my internet. I'm having stupid bad issues even though I'm supposed to be getting one gigabyte upload and download um, and they can't figure it out. So they're gonna come to uh, my apartment but as you know my desk is super elaborate and if I'm not there he's gonna mess it up break something plus the kitties are gonna get all scared I, I gotta go are right, you guys good, good enough. Yeah. all right <laughs> see ya okay the guy for the internet was literally outside of the building as I was pulling in to park in the parking garage so like just perfect timing hopefully they can fix my internet Hey man. Sorry about that, hopefully you weren't there long. No, no, I just pulled up a few minutes ago. <laughs> the internet issues I've been having have been going on for a little while now. I should have like insanely good internet, but it just hasn't been running correctly. It hasn't been running smoothly. It's been like, I would like be updating a game and it would take hours and hours and hours, but then I would do a speed test and it would say it's fine. I'm supposed to have one gigabyte, but my account says I only have 500 gigabytes. And even if it was 500 gigabytes, it doesn't seem like it's running at 500 gigabytes, download, upload. A lot of stupid internet mumbo jumbo. But I think I want to talk about the company Midco internet or midco in fargo i mean if you live in fargo you probably have midco or you know who they are at least but just my quick note from a guy from minnesota and minneapolis area from someone who uses a lot of internet and has used multiple internet companies and had many many issues with internet companies i have um a couple thoughts hey hey Evan, the guy actually helping me today, he went, ran down to the truck real quick to grab some more stuff because I think we found a very, very good solution, but it takes a little bit of rewiring and moving things to the bedroom from 
the desk and the closet and just a lot of work. I'm so sorry. Everyone at Midco, I'm so sorry. Now it definitely needs to be noted and even we just discussed that your average consumer in Fargo or even not in Fargo, your average internet consumer would never have complained about the internet that I was receiving, never. And that makes me look like a straight asshole. Obviously, I'm not your average internet user, especially for Fargo, North Dakota. Even before I was daily logging, which takes a huge amount of upload because I need to upload videos every single day and you can't, I can't be doing that for hours. I need to upload quickly, I need it to be done. But then, obviously I also stream. And now with daily vlogging making videos, I don't have time to be downloading games for four hours, especially when I'm paying for better internet. So like, and then streaming is also uploading while downloading games and all the stuff, all, I need the internet. I'm just a above average user of internet. Yeah, but I have to say, and I only get mad at things when it's internet issues or computer issues, things, things with technology that I'm usually really good at, when they don't work correctly, I get really pissed off. But anyways, the Midco service, the Midco support, the Midco team members on the phone are well above average for any other internet company I have ever, I just spit everywhere, ever worked with. Like, it actually, when I really think about it, it blows my mind. This process of my internet not working has been going on for like weeks now and it sucks. Any other internet company would have just been like, oh, those, those speeds are fine, um, that's all we offer, maybe check your equipment, maybe your equipment isn't up to par. I understand that, but trust me, the equipment is fine. But the amount of extra work these guys have been putting in for me and they, they, they actually, they call me back. I don't have to call and talk to somebody else. I literally had this girl, Nikki, give her a raise by the way. She's fucking insane. Called me like over 10 times, actually called me back. Called me back late at night, called me back, like this guy's working, it's later in the afternoon. Called me back so many times talked me through it, checked up on it, and has consistently spent the time to help me figure this out and to actually determine if there was something wrong. And then Evan shows up and turns out there's some, there's a little bit of issues, but they're fixing them. They're not just pushing me aside and saying, oh, this kid is too bougie. He doesn't need this much internet. They're fixing these issues and their customer service is just fucking, it's insane. It's amazing. I'm not even pissed anymore. Like, I mean, I, I mean, I was, I wasn't even ever pissed at them. I was just a little upset about the internet because I'm, I am bougie with internet, but I need it. You know, 